we have already completed all the four types of flip-flops and now this is the best time to move to another important topic that is the flip-flop conversion a very important topic for your exams and what we have to actually do in the flip-flop conversion a flip-flop is given to you like in this example JK flip-flop is given to you and you have to convert this JK flip-flop to D flip-flop okay so a flip-flop is given to you and you have to get another flip-flop by a small changes in the given flip-flop so what are that small changes we are going to determine these changes by these five steps and we will implement all these five steps in this example and we will try to convert the JK flip-flop to D flip-flop at the end of the presentation you will find that you can do flip-flop conversion very easily this is a very simple and very important topic so let's start with it our first step is to identify the available and the required flip-flop so let's see in our example what is the available flip-flop the available flip-flop the available flip-flop is JK flip-flop so JK is my available flip-flop and what is the required flip-flop what we want we want D flip-flop out of JK flip-flop so my required flip-flop is D flip-flop so first step is now over and it's a very important step because if you switch these things if you write available flip-flop as D flip-flop and required flip-flop as JK flip-flop everything is going to be changed okay so your answer is 100% wrong in that case that's why this step is important and you have to take care of this thing now the next step is to make characteristic table for required flip-flop that's why I told you to remember the characteristic table and the excitation table of every flip-flop so please open your notes if you have followed my lecture and wrote it down somewhere then please open it and if you don't then no problem we are going to do it right away so the characteristic table for the required flip-flop it means for D flip-flop we have to make and the inputs to the characteristic table are QN and D so I don't know if you remember or not but I remember that the output QN plus 1 is same as D so this is a simple characteristic table for us let's make it 0 1 1 0 1 1 now QN plus 1 is same as D so it is 0 1 0 one so our second step is now over let's move to our third step in this we have to make the excitation table for the available flip-flop so available flip-flop is JK and now we need to make its excitation table so first I'm going to make the excitation table here and then you can follow QN QN plus 1 and JK 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 so the values for J and K are 0 1 cross 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 1 0 so it is a way to remember the excitation table for JK flip-flop you can also derive it from this truth table now we are going to use it so let's extend this table and write here J K now when QN is 0 and QN plus 1 is 0 you can see j is 0 k is don't care so 0 don't care when qn is 0 qn plus 1 is 1 this case j is 1 k is don't care so 1 and then don't care similarly when qn is 1 qn plus 1 is 0 j is don't care and k is 1 this case so don't care and 1 and the last case is don't care 0 so now we have done with our step 3 and now we have to move to our step 4 in which we have to write the boolean expression for the available flip-flop so available flip-flop is JK flip-flop and we will make the K map for it so there are four combinations so definitely we are going to have the four cell K map or a two variable K map so let's make it first we are going to require two such maps one for J and one for K okay and the inputs are definitely QN and D so QN D QN D let's say my first K map is for J and my second K map is for K let's fill this map for J it is 0 1 don't care don't care so 0 1 don't care don't care and for K it is don't care don't care 1 0 fine now let's make the groups 
before that let me write down the values here 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 now let's do for j first and uh, my first group is this one and I have already combined a single one so no need to make this group so j is equal to what qn is changing from 0 to 1 so j is equal to d now let's write down the value for k k and this is my group and in this you can see qn is changing from 0 to 1 but d is 0 so k is equal to d complement very simple so we are done with our first step in which we found out the values of j and k the boolean expression for the available flip-flop now let's move to our fifth step that is drawing the circuit and this is very important step so let's move to it we have to first draw the available flip-flop because we are going to do small changes in the available flip-flop to get the required flip-flop so the available flip-flop is jk and the two inputs are j k this is my clock and the two outputs are qn qn complement so let's see what changes we have to do in this jk flip-flop to get the d flip-flop you can see j is d so if d is my input so the j is going to be same and k is d complement so we have to use a not gate here and it will be given to k so overall you can see we are having our d flip-flop by using a jk flip-flop only thing you need to do is to find out this expression by following all these five steps and then draw the circuit finally so it's a very important and very simple presentation you can do it by yourself in the next presentation we are going to do some more flip-flop conversion so see you in the next one